As lawmakers in D.C. work to crack down on gun control, here in Cook County, Sheriff Tom Dart is targeting ammunition sales. Roseanne is here now with the latest effort to close a loophole to curb gun violence. Good morning, Roseanne. Well, good morning, Anita. The sheriff is hoping to close a loophole that allows ammunition sales to people who have no business buying it. As it stands right now, people who have had their gun permits revoked due to felonies, domestic violence, and other serious issues can still go out and buy ammo. Well, the sheriff will be talking about that loophole at a news conference this morning, and he'll be joined by State Representative LaShawn Ford and also State Senator Jacqueline Collins, other supporters of this measure. And this comes on the heels of DART's push to make so-called ghost guns more traceable. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, the sheriff applauded a new federal rule that requires serial numbers on the gun kits that are used to build those ghost guns. The rule announced by President Biden also requires anyone who buys a ghost gun kit to undergo a background check. Sheriff Dart says with the number of ghost guns on the street here exploding, something had to be done. We've already surpassed the number of ghost guns that we've gotten this year for all of last year, and there's no end in sight. And so things it's a good first step, but we have so much more we need to do in this area. All right. And of course, start referring to also the governor's initiative. Uh, he has since banned the sale and possession of ghost guns in Illinois. Then you have the federal measure. Now the sheriff looking at that ammunition and how it and ammunition sales ways to keep it from getting in the wrong hands. That news conference is this morning at 1030 at Cook County Sheriff's Police Headquarters.